slow down your heart rate. It's giving me eight minutes of break out time. see if we got live chat on ah great here we go Steve Mack hey I am downtown Charleston, South Carolina, and that is, I believe, St. Philip's Church. And there are a few cars down here. I'm going to walk around and just show some of the sights. And hopefully uh, some more people will join in. I didn't really plan on doing a live stream tonight. walk around and I'll show you some of the things that I know about here is a massive church here it is what's the name of this church it is I don't know I can't read it but right there that is the Dock Street Theater that is supposed to be one of the most haunted places in Charleston haunted by some of its former residents let's walk across the street see if we can look inside I uh, something adventure I didn't quite catch it before it went away. This is inside the Dot Street Theater. We will make our departure and walk down a little further and see what we get. Art, art and abandonment, is that correct? I tell you, if I put my glasses on so I can see the screen, I'll fall in a hole. That is a pretty cool church though. Libby Wilson. Nice to see downtown Charleston when it's not busy. Yeah, and the temperature has come down a little bit. It's around 88 right now. I wanted to go on a ghost tour, but they wouldn't let me film, so I opted out. I did buy me some books to read and do some research on some of the legends and ghost stories here in town. So I could maybe do later on. Here is a cemetery. Check that out. Now listen, is that creepy or what? Just got a light on that part. Look at that. That's near. Hope you have to be doing well, yeah. Look at this. Man, that is like, that's like a creature feature, isn't it? Wow, after I get off live stream, I'm gonna come back with my camera. I can use that for B-roll. Here's the front of this church. Look how big the doors are. Huge doors. I came down to work 
uh, in some relief work right after Hurricane Hugo. And the doors on this church were out in the street. That's just how bad the storm hit. There's a ghost tour going on over there right now. I have to follow around behind them. I will got another side I want to show you right around the corner. Hey, if any of y'all have any ideas of places in the Carolinas that uh, you'd like me to visit, uh, give me some comment, you know, comment to me, let me know. It is getting very hard for me to come up with content. I took off of work this afternoon and came down by myself. My wife said she did not want to come and get bit by the mosquitoes and they're talking about rain and all that good stuff. Somebody's playing in the street down there. I'll get a walk away from them. Cause uh did I ride Tony? Uh Steve, I rode in the truck. Uh I am gonna plan a motorcycle ride, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's got to cool off a little bit. Here in South Carolina has been in the high nineties and rain coming unexpectedly. Walk down to Dooler's Alley. I'm trying to find it. Uh Actually, right before I went on, um, I Googled where it was. So I'm going to uh, definitely look for it here in a little bit. Hey, there went a guy on a bicycle. I should have got a ride. This is an old powder magazine. This was featured in a video I did not long ago. This is another place that uh, has spooks, hauntings. Creatures of the night. All that other stuff, you know. Let's walk back this way. We'll walk over to Rainbow Row. If I see someone that looks like a tour guide or whatever, I may ask them where Doolers Alley is. Dooling Alley or whatever. Dude, you the man. Need to catch the orbs of the cemetery after dark. Well, it's after dark, and uh, I am going to be walking by on this live stream. I will be walking by several cemeteries, so maybe we'll see some. You hear those cicadas in the trees. cranking up. What road are you on? Uh, shoot. Church Street. And uh, Dooler's Alley connects Church Street with another street. I'm not sure what it is. Here comes a, a old South Tour. Let's walk down this way. You're right there. So, Dooler's Alley, where would that be? You can get to it from either road. Okay, well, I'm in front of St. Phillips and the Powder Magazine on Church Street. Where'd I go from there? Holy moly, it's raining. Uh, yuck. Let me duck in over here. Get out of the rain. Help me, I'm melting, I'm melting. Okay. A ride on Cumberland. Okay, where is Cumberland? Let's walk down this way. Do you walk towards the uh, marketplace?
Either that's lightning or the Yankees are coming. It's raining like a mad dog. Just that quick. Left on Queen, depending on what you and y'all. Okay, I'm on church right in front of Tommy Condoms. Right there. Yeah, that rain come fast because that cloud was way back. Maybe it, maybe because it came fast, it'll leave fast. Now here's an alley here, but there's a gate on it. There's Lingard. Walk back this way. Normally I would Google it on my phone, but I can't get off poor man's trolley. Well, yeah, I have walked behind some of the tri uh, some of the uh, carriage tours before, and if you walk the same speed that they are, you can get the tour for free. Hey. That's what we're doing to South. Take advantage of the situation. All right. Might go. Here's Cumberland. So I'm at the corner of Church and Cumberland. They tell me how to get to the Doolers Alley from here. Okay, you see where I'm at. Tell me which way to turn. Send us some. You need some rain? It'll be gone in a second. Well, it's slacking off a little bit. Hey, here's a guy over here that looks like somewhere. I'm on. I'm going to the Doolin Alley is. This guy's got a mask on. So, so I'm gonna put the phone down just for a second. Whoa. Just hold on. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Where's Doolin, Doolin's Alley at from here? Doolers Alley. Doolers Alley, Philadelphia Alley. Oh, Philadelphia Alley is right up here. To go down this street? Yeah, go right up Cumberland, and uh -huh. it's on the right, out here, but you're about a block away. It goes that way. It goes that way. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, I just got directions, but the rain's picked back up, and I got to get out of it because I got my camera in one hand. Hey, Walsh Farms. I'm not far from a truck, but I'm far enough to get soaking wet. Let's see. I'm going to put my phone in my pocket. Well, I'd, uh, the guy with Southern Tours told me exactly where Doolers Alley was. So, uh, I'm going to try to get there. Do the right, you can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's raining good. And it's lightning, too. This is not turning out quite the way I had anticipated. Look, it's coming out hard now. But, hey, this is South Carolina. Rain don't last for long. So, how is everybody's summer going on right now? Good 
Could you bring a boat? I may need one for us over with. This is why my wife didn't want to come because she said it's going to rain. It's right in front of, which is why. Yeah, I just talked to uh, a tour guide and he told me that I'm a block away from it. It's right down uh, Cumberland on the right, actually right behind St. Philip's Church. And I would walk back to my truck and get my umbrella, but it's, it's raining pretty hard. Yeah, not even very close. No, it's not. Yeah, I know they're in front of the marketplace. It doesn't take a whole lot of rain for that place to flood. Um, i tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to walk back to my truck. It's about a block. I'm going to try to cover my phone up so it doesn't get wet. And I'll get an umbrella and we'll continue our tour. One thing about the rain, it cools it down. If I was on my motorcycle, I would say, this sucks. I can't really think of a better word for it. Oh, it ain't muggy now. It's done past that. There's those tour guides over there. My truck is just a little bit further. I'm going to uh, reach in and grab my umbrella and then we'll be safe. I'll walk around with a lightning rod in my hand. I went on a, a hike today in a cypress swamp and I was walking on a path and I got down a ways and lo and behold, there was an alligator right in the middle of the path and uh he wasn't moving so i had to turn around and go back the other way because you know if i'm not mistaken all alligators can run pretty fast there's that graveyard again we passed by look at those tombstones in the walls Isn't that cool yeah charleston takes on a whole different aura at night run all right okay hold on i'm here in the truck let me get an umbrella out okay i'm gonna set the phone down hold on Okay, hold on, we're back. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm all locked up. Let me dry you off here. How was that? Okay, now we can proceed on. And we're going to go to a very haunted place here in Charleston. Dooler's Alley. And I think it's also known as Philadelphia Alley. Y'all still with me, right? Okay, here's a dark cemetery. Y'all see any orbs in there? No. Nope. Somebody talked to me, so I know you're still there. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Still here. Cool. I had a pressed a little arrow. There, there's that ghost tour there. I'll tell you something. Here's a story while we're walking. 
that's pretty creepy. It's been several years ago, my wife and I and another couple, we went on a ghost carriage tour here one night and it was really late. It was one of the last tours. Just watch the video. Tony off and clump. Yeah. Uh, here you go. Look at this cemetery. Look at this. That is creepy. But anyway, we were on this carriage tour and they were talking about sometimes animals could sense things more than humans. And we were in this buggy and then all of a sudden a buggy come flying around us. It had a couple in it and the driver and the driver was hollering, whoa, stop, whoa, stop. And uh, I mean, it, it wasn't stopping. Anyway, it went around a corner and it was out of sight and we heard whap. And we knew what happened. That horse had run into a car. And, uh, and then not long after that, we heard sirens going off and the buggy we were in, they wouldn't go down there. That was wild. Okay, here's where I turn and I walk, a, they say approximately a block and it's Doolin Alley. I saw a werewolf behind me, don't be telling me that. Go tours are the best, yeah. Well, I bought, I bought some books here in Charleston that's got all kinds of stories and legends in them. And uh, so I'm gonna read up and come back when it cools off and I'll be able to do some good ghost tours. Okay, hold it. All right, I'm kind of moving on now. Off your alley. I'll show you the sign right, right there. And this is called Dooler's Alley. This is where back during the 18th and probably early 19th century, gentlemen would come to settle their disputes right in this alley. And uh, you can see why. There's a wall, right on the other side of that wall is a graveyard, and then of course there's a building here. I don't know if that's an original building, but I'm sure there was something here that would keep people from going away. Hey, Tony, come back to Polly's and visit the best animal shelter in South Carolina. Hey, I have to do that. But this is uh, Dooler's Alley, and from what I understand, this is a place that has a lot of uh, haunts on it. And if you want to look, look down there. There is nothing. And back that way, there is nothing. I'm here by myself. And just so you know, it doesn't take a whole lot to spook me. There is a fence right there, a gate to get into the graveyard. Wow. Hold on, I'm gonna put my umbrella down and quit raining for a minute or two. Hold on one second. Boy, this alley's long. Um, I see people down at the other end. There are fruit trees along the way. I think it's East Bay Street. Some neat buildings. Only been this alley during the day, so it's spooky at night. Yeah, it is. And especially, I set the stage for you good on a spooky, thundery, storm, no, a spooky, stormy night. Carolina Tony went down to an alley where men died because they didn't like what their best friend said to them. Okay, 
I want somebody to do. Well, listen, I want to go to Newberry, and but I need I need to know something. Uh, I've I've read and I really can't find a whole lot. You uh send me a message, and I will uh I'll send you my phone number, and we can talk. And I'll come and let you give me a tour. I don't know much is there. Let me just fade it away there. Okay, we're getting down. This is all kind of commercial here. We'll get back to the historic stuff here in just a second. Someone said a while ago, muggy. Now that it's quit raining, now it's muggy. I normally have a a frame and a tripod for my cell phone when I'm using it, but I left it in the motel. I'm staying over at Mount Pleasant for uh, people that want to come to Charleston. That's a tip for you. You can stay across the river at Mount Pleasant a whole lot cheaper than you can stay in Charleston. And most of the hotels in Charleston, if you go downtown, you got to pay for parking. Okay, look. There is the United States Custom House over there. And here is a club called High Cotton. Yeah, let's walk back this way. how long I've been on I've been on longer than four minutes hadn't I am I still connected are you guys still there somebody pop up something because it looks like I've been only filming four minutes Ooh. Did y'all see that? Look, that's high class dining there. You know that's high class dining when they give you cloth napkins. I could only go into places you get paper and eat with plastic spoons. That's pretty cool there. All kind of little pubs and bars down here. Pretty decent food too. Have researched the Chesterfield Courthouse? No, I haven't. And uh, even though I only live 15 minutes from there, there's another alley been to Babcock where you buy furniture hey look here there's a fiddler all right okay I don't have a clue where I'm at no abandoned, no abandoned insane asylum. No, I wish I could have got in there. I contacted a friend of mine that contacted the mayor. He said, no dice. Oop, hold on. In Columbia, you know the one. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, I filmed walking around the outside of it, told about it. 
but uh, I'm not as brave as some folks that crawl under a fence or go through a window or whatever. Question, did y'all see the video I did of the old Charleston jail? They say, you go on tours, I think the tour's like $40, but you can't film. And I told the lady that that's what I wanted to do. And she said, well, for so much money, we'll let you go on a private tour. So we did some negotiating and I got in and it was uh, pretty cool. What email to reach you at? Okay, here's my email. T D J M. That's Tango uh Joshua Dog Monkey TDJM1234 at hotmail.com. Ooh. Y'all see that lightning? It's scary. Yeah, there's some of those gas lights on the front of that building. See them flickering? Isn't that cool? We're still walking around and walking down. There is a steeple on top of the old exchange and dungeon and I did a video there a few weeks ago and that was a tour I went on they didn't mind film didn't it mind me filming they just didn't want me to talk very loud this is a different building look at this that's a neat shot look isn't that cool? Charleston from a different angle. The old Charleston jail. Yeah, the old Charleston jail, I learned a lot of things after I filmed there that I wish I'd have known before I went. I would have done things a little differently. But hey, you know, I'm always flying by the seat of my pants. That's one of the reasons my wife doesn't like to come with me when I'm filming. Because she says I don't work with a plan. Uh-oh. See something howling in the background. Ooh. I did outside of the old Charleston Exchange, I will tell you that... Uh, in the late wow in the late 1700s early 1800s right in that area there where that oak tree is they sold slaves there on one of the tours they told us that there were actually several places across the city where that actually happened And of course, in the basement, they had political prisoners as well as other type of prisoners. Okay, we're turning on to Broad Street, uh, headed up towards the four corners of law. It's where they have the church that represents God's law. And they have the city courthouse that represents the city law. And the federal courthouse 
that represents federal law. And then they have, I think the thing, uh, I don't even know what it's called, represents county law. Yeah, they're, they're spontaneous because a lot of times I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, there has been a time, though, that I would go and spend on a trip two days. Well, are y'all hearing this? Are y'all hearing that thunder? Because that is wild. Okay, State Street. We're going to walk back to State Street because that's where I'm parked. At least I think I am. I'm gonna wind this this video down. Now it says I've been li been live 12 minutes, and there ain't no way I have walked this whole time, and uh, just been 12 minutes. But the only way sideways is to sell. I miss that, loud and clear, but only on which side did they sell them? What, what are you talking to somebody else? Yeah, I, I don't know what you were talking about. Oh, I've been live 30, 37 minutes. Good gracious. And I tell you, since it's quit raining and it's muggy, and I'm sweating like a mule. I got foam under my armpits. Yeah, at least 30 minutes. Well, I tell you, all you people watching, you know, I, re I just, you know, take this just time to where there's not a whole lot to see to tell you just how much I appreciate you. Uh, I just recently got monetized and that don't mean a whole thing, but it'd be great one day that if this hobby of mine would pay for itself cause it costs a freaking fortune to do it. And uh, you know, and I'm so thankful that I have the, uh, I have a good business. I stay busy, you know, I don't, I'm not getting rich by a long shot, but I'm able to pay the bills and live comfortably. But it would be great someday that I could retire and at least I could keep on doing this hobby and it pay for itself. And the only way that's gonna happen is for it to grow, for me to get more subscribers. So, you know, if y'all will, take my videos and share on your Facebook and Instagram and tell all your family and friends and put their arm behind the back and twist them and say, yeah, you need to subscribe, but you need to watch too. This uh, YouTube thing is interesting how it works anyway. And I'm real careful, you know, for some of the stuff I do, I can say, you know, I don't go, I'm not breaking the law to do, do a video. Uh, oh, look at this. I'm gonna walk across the street. This is, I think this is just cool. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Look. It's just a little courtyard. And I think this is somebody's house. Isn't that neat? Awesome. Oh. Uh, well, I said I parked on this street, but you know what? I don't think I did. Let's try this way. I can see it now in the uh, Charleston paper tomorrow morning. I'm sweating like a mule. <laughs> Fell out of my chair laughing, yeah. Let's see it tomorrow morning in the Charleston Courier. Carolina Tony. Roman streets at night. Forgot where he parked his truck.
I do have a oh I do have a reoccurring drain. building here let's see what this is the footlight players workshop Queen Street Playhouse hey look this is the other end of the uh, the other end of that alley that I was on There's a view. Here's the other end. Check it out. Kind of looks harmless, doesn't it? Okay. Yep. We're walking back. Things are beginning to come a little, get a little more in focus. I tell you what, for Charleston to be so big and so many people here, there's no people out here at night. Uh, except for this big old idiot walking around in a thunder and lightning storm. Where, where's the cemetery? Go there. What cemetery? Uh, there's actually one right here. Um, I walk back by it again. So, hold on to your britches there. I'll show you one right here. Okay, I just found my truck. It's right across to the, from the Dock Street Theater. And there's the Dock Street Theater. Again, that's another haunted place here in uh, Charleston. But here is a cemetery right here. Check it out. See anybody you recognize? Whoa. I thought I saw something different. We need some creepy music. I'm going to walk back to the truck. Um, I tell you, I've got a video coming up here in the next few weeks. I filmed an abandoned nursing home was built as a hotel in the 1920s and around the 1940s it started as a nursing home and probably 30, 40 years ago or more, more than that, uh, they abandoned it and it has grown up in the woods and the only way that you can get to it is literally going through the woods. And I was inside and I got about halfway into the middle of it and I heard a noise and I felt something. I promise you, I felt like I was not there alone and I hightailed it out. Okay, guys. I'm back at my truck. How about my decal on the back of my window? Get your motor running. Carolina Tony, subscribe YouTube. How cool is that? All right, well, I am going to sign off right here where I started at. Again, I want to thank y'all for joining me. I really appreciated it. Uh, be sure to tell your family and friends. Share on your social media. And now, and as always, y'all have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. 10-4 Tony is out.